Welcome back to Trauma Team! Hey, it turns out if you save at the place you're at and you load from the place you saved at, you load from the place that you saved at. That's brilliant. So we're here in the office, probably gonna check out and see if we can diagnose a few things. From the symptoms we found. Yes, doctor. Now displaying Proper diagnosis. diagnosis. She has lung failure. Well, let's see what it could be. It's, it's a swollen neck. It's alcoholism! Oh, <laughs> Lay off the cocktail, sweetheart! <laughs> Just immediately go straight to that. Okay, so neck is swollen. Yep. Wait, uh, oh wait, I didn't mean to back out. Yeah, I, I gotcha, I gotcha. Oh, CT exam results. Actually, that would be another symptom to go on if we go to get the results of the CT scan. Yeah, so why let's, don't we do that? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Because we don't want to get it wrong! So, image analysis lab. Otherwise, she'll die. Yeah, and I really can't have that on me for this month. Or going on the logic of House MD is just another right. symptom. Well, <laughs> Put her through another thousand dollars worth of tests. Everybody lies. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's look at pictures. Have you ever seen Bring Hugh Laurie's audition us. tape, by the way? Yes. I think I have. Now Everybody lies. It's, it's so cool. He, he's created a character. I know, and it was all based on, uh, just Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, let's take a look at that tomograph. Oh, look at that! Look, look, look at them bones! Look at the muscles! I think, I, I think it's the, uh... You know, it's the mention. head, right? The, 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 the fibula, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. The fibula's right there in the sternum. Right, yeah, fibula, sternum's right there, yeah, but see? it's like, it's like by the knee, right? Confirmation yeah. that we went to med school, yeah, of course, yeah, you know... You know, know Madhuvla Abogada yeah, yeah, looks yeah, pretty it's good, honey. Right, exactly, You're gonna yeah. be doing great. Yeah. Well, I'll fix you up nice and good. Nice and good. All right, let's see. Yeah, what do we got? All right, so there's the neck. This is the neck. In other words, there to... Yes, thank you. All right. All right. So what is one. inflamed to cause the neck inflammation? Oh, we get to look all over the place. So well, we, we have a, a normal sample here. So that's a normal neck. This is normal. Okay. And this is her neck. And this is normal, and this is hers. And this is normal, and this is hers. I don't think I see anything here. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this part of the neck. Are we able to... Well, you're switching the images. Yeah. And it said we could move the image around. Did I see that correctly? Okay, that might be different. Let's so let's see. take a look at the normal. This is a normal, and this is hers. This oh, there. That's inflamed. Oh, that's definitely inflamed. Hmm. A portion of her thyroid. Oh, her thyroid might be in trouble. That's big. This will help with the diagnosis. Should go back. And to that's all they wanted us to look at. All right, so I think that's going to be a key symptom in narrowing it yep. down. Thyroid issues. New symptom observed. Well, at least a swollen thyroid gland. That can knock everything off of alignment. Hey, Jessica, your thyroid's swollen. My what? Your thyroid! It's swollen! Is that bad? I think so! Actually, uh, can we take a look one more time? Oh, it's... Okay, okay. never mind. Lock the door behind you. Don't let anybody else in. This is your place. Alright, back to the orifice. Alright, the fun times. I love this part. Well then, time to narrow down our candidates. Yes! Soji Megaro and his, uh jazz organ. He makes wonderful things happen with that. I found a connection between... So, the menu theme, before you jump into your game, mm -hmm. is almost exactly like Yukiko's theme from the fighting games. It has that same start, and it just flows. It is, oh, it's a great theme. Alright, so let's, uh, let's check some diagnoses, why don't we? Alright, so we got thyroiditis. Yep. Yes, oh. thank you. Oh! Interesting. Okay, so... Destroyed. Not swollen. Yeah, so... We don't have thyroiditis. How about Graves' disease? Uh, condition, antibodies in the thyroid cause swelling. swelling. Uh, hormone production, the entire thyroid the... glands. Yeah. Uh, swells. Uh, 
on the respiratory tract, causing difficulty breathing. That was tachypnea. There we go. So it was trembling fingers. Increase in weight. And trembling fingers. Trembling fingers. Did we also have that? And I think we got... I think you've got Graves' disease, honey. Yeah, just throw shit in there. Let's see if it works. Correct. There might be more, and then we have to choose between the two to get the exact diagnosis. Other candidates as well. Did I say I was finished with my diagnosis? I was about to do that. Yeah. Don't get, don't get sassy with the computer now. Come on. So that seems promising. That's promising. What we got for plumber's disease here. We got tumor. Uh, tumors on the thyroid. Swelling on the thyroid gland, and we got a neck that's also swelling. We do but we got didn't have tumors. Fingers, but we got uh, trembling fingers. And then we got increased heart and breath weight, weight loss, and dipsy. This candidate seems quite plausible as well. Do you see tumors on the thyroid gland? No. What's, what, what's making it swollen now? Well, but we didn't see any tumors. Ah, uh, see, we need a different... There's we need also... A, we need another test. Hmm. Oh, what else do we have? Iron deficiency? Let's I don't... try alcoholism! <laughs> oh, they actually call this out. There is no objective evidence to deny it! <laughs> I mean... Everybody lies, doctor. Alright. No match. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's... you fool! Oh, oops. This is why you don't throw around diagnoses. <laughs> okay, fine. So let's look How at about anemia. Iron deficiency anemia. Red blood cell created by iron tends to occur with young women with low iron. Unbalanced diet uh, includes typical symptoms of anemia such as lack of energy, increased heart rate. So that's tachycardia. Uh, difficulty breathing. And that's it. So it's not anemia. It doesn't even yeah. attack the thyroid, it's just iron deficiency. So that's a no-go. And then just... Nerves. <laughs> Stop breathing so much! A lot of anxiety, so difficulty breathing. Trembling hands. And doing tachycardia. And obviously the thing that it's named after. Tachypnea. Uh... Anything lower? That's... Or dip, dyspnea. Ta-da! Can reduce the spasms in order to... Okay, yeah, that's it. Alright. I think we have a couple winners. I think so, too. I think we probably need to put what we can here. So, swelling of the neck. And... Difficulty breathing. Uh, Tachypnea. Uh, trembling fingers. fingers. Decrease in weight. And is there anything else down, like, way down Swollen below? Swollen thyroid gland, I saw... Do it well, wait. Uh... Increased heart, heart rate. rate. Tachycardia. Yeah, I think I saw that, too. Yep. This one's a match, too. So three matches. That's three possible candidates. I agree, Doctor. Another I test. Another test. Hell yeah, another yeah, test. No. There's a good chance the patient's got a thyroid problem. I mean, if I if I shoot a man in the, in the chest, I'd say, hmm, this guy's got a real big gunshot wound problem. He's got slight tachycardia. <laughs> Let me go ahead and, and consult the doctor and see what's wrong with him. Clear? I can't. Clear? Clear. More tests. More tests. More yeah. tests. More tests. Hell yeah! Put her through the ringer. Put her through the ringer! Alright, we'll see her in three months, once we actually, uh, you know, uh, yep. schedule the tests and I everything. Have, yep, I have I other patients to go, to go check out. Diagnosis. Yeah! Let's get started. I agree, Doctor. Hopefully the additional exams will be a Yes! Good. More exams! Doctor Cunningham, I have more information <gasps> for you. Please head to the examination room to perform okay. analysis exams. Okay. Time to massage your thyroid. and scintigraphy exams she requested all right, let's kill some time, talk to the patient, and maybe those tests will be ready. Yeah, yeah. I just have to put my hands around your neck and just make you feel comfortable as the life leaves your body. I'm also a serial killer. Sorry to say. Uh, good morning, doctor. Um, oh, has it been like a day? What did the test results say? <laughs> well, we're still narrowing it down, but it's most likely a thyroid gland disease. Thyroid gland. 
Uh, it's important. It's in your neck. Yes. I'm going to be able to sing again, right? If, uh, if I ever lost my voice... Do we voice. have to break news? Calm down. You will I be fine. Worry. Worry. Waggle Wait, the Wii remote in order to break, break the news gently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Just not enough. Yeah, your throat's busted, result. sweetheart. That's you basically funny. have the thyroid equivalent of lung cancer. You're not getting out of here with your voice. You got lung cancer in your throat. I mean, that's something, right? You, you know how uh, how Ursula the Sea Witch took Ariel's voice? Yeah, this is what your thyroid disease is doing to you. I think I'm I think I'm trying to solve the puzzle. I'm not ready. Oh wait, patience values. Just no, this is good. So her blood pressure is actually in the middle, so that's decent. I thought I accidentally went, uh, all right, Vanna, I'd like to solve the diagnosis. No, just don't freak out. All right, uh, so this... We're we'll put, we're still good at the blood, blood pressure. Normal. Hemoglobin's good. Hemoglobin's normal. Hemoglobin's normal. That's normal. Red that's cell count. Normal. White cell white count. That's good. That's looking good. That's looking oh, good. Yeah. That's looking good. Now for the blood chemistry. That's looking all right. A little on the low side, but still good. A little on the high side, still Yeah, fine. a little on the high side. That's a little good. In the middle. That's fine. That's okay. That's all right. That's also okay. That's very low, but it's still fine. Yeah, BNP okay. is extremely low. That's fine, that's a fine. Actually, the serum- You got nothing wrong with you, hun. Uh, hold on. Keep it going. That is extremely low. It is. Let's keep a mental note of that. I mean, if, if, if there- if, I mean, this is normal, so... It's still within normal range. Uh, is there anything down below immune that's serum? That's okay, that's okay. Ooh, that's high! Ooh, she has there a high we FD3. go. There we go. And also a slightly elevated FT4. FT3 level seems a little high. A little? Groaning. Make a record of this. Alright, that's uh, And a... Symptom. Ooh, TSH is extremely low as well. Oh, yeah, b both of these. Yikes. Send them send right. through. Well, it isn't by much. FT4 level's a bit higher than the standard range. If it, if it wasn't... If it was I mean, it's not normal! It's above normal! Yep. And then... It's not astronomically high, but this is astronomically low. Yeah. The TSH value seems rather low. Brony, please record that. Is there anything else? Oh, I think we hit the bottom of the screen, but just in case. I think, I think they're gonna kick us out. Don't kick uh, us out. All right, all right, let's do let's do one more pass through. Good. So good. Good. Clear. Clear. Good. Clear. Good. Clear. Clear. Two sixty. Thirty six. Twenty three. All right. Uh, Seven point one. Four point two. Point seven. Thirteen. Okay. Half. Five. Uh, do. One sixty three. Ninety six. Thirty eight. 9.1, 3 3.5, 10.3. Yeah, I think, I think you know, we're good. Well, wait, that nah, I already talked about it. It's it's still in range. Never mind. I think they're gonna be. Uh, of course, a real doctor would be like, hmm, that's looking a little low. Let's let's look into that. But I'm gonna go by game logic here and say if it's in between the numbers, then it's fine. Also, I think we had a diagnosis that had to deal with low counts of FT3 and FT4. Probably. Let's check the image analysis lab. I think it was Plummer's disease. Preparations for the scintigraphy and MRI exams right. have been completed. Get her in here! Perfect. Let's get right to it, then. Alrighty. Allow me to provide information about the MRI and scintigraphy. I'm gonna guess that's head scan, lung scan? Uh, I believe so, whatever. yes. Don't I think one of her lungs is smaller, or at least inflamed. Okay, cool. Yes. All right, speed reader. It's 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 just techno babble. I like hearing the techno babble. It's jargon. I don't care. It is similar to a CT scan, but there is no exposure to radiation. Okay, yeah, this is babble. All right, let's just go. Yeah, look at that. I went to medical school for 15 years. Nice one, smartass. All right, let's go. Let's MRI this business. Here's the head. All right, what have we got? I don't see anything. Okay. I'm looking right. Mmm. Yeah, there's nothing here that I can see. Uh, do you see any other brain I issues? Think, I think everything is all right. I'm going to look at the neck now. I'm looking at the brain, mostly. 
real right here now. I don't see anything. I think her head's fine. I think yeah, I think the head's fine. Now this one I'm very curious about. Yeah, here's the thyroid gland. <laughs> hmm. I me, me thinks her thyroid's a bit fucked. Hmm. Hmm. That's distressing. I wonder what the difference could be. The whole thing's an abnormality. Hmm. The uptake of radioactive iodine is concentrated in several areas of the thyroid. I, they might want you to click this Rody, one as well. Make a record of this. There's not enough intake over here. It's it's absolutely bananas bonkers. That could just be abnormal, you know. Well, kind of cover the whole thing. Oh, here, that yeah. that does it. Let's okay. Go back to my office and continue the diagnosis. Yep, MRI was fine then. If uh, they did, if they were telling me to go back uh, to the office now. About does it here. I do think we're, they're going to have plenty of not exactly red herrings, but more just double checking certain spots. This is this is to ease us in, so we're not Correct. getting too overwhelmed. It's going to get more complicated. You can you can rest assured there. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. So we got our top three here. Let's uh, check the painless thyroiditis. Thyroid so, increase of thyroid hormones. Uh, let's see. Oh, low, there we go. Low TSH level. Then high that. 54. High 53. That. Almost no uptake of radioactive iodine can be confirmed in a scintography. So it's not thyroiditis. So that's not it. Graves. Graves disease. Scroll down here. We got our low TSH. TSH. FT3. I FT4 and FT3. MNRI will show swelling of the muscles around the eyes, and the oh. entire thyroid gland will show an increase in radioactive iodine uptake. But we had no swelling of the. Oh, shit. <sighs> Sheesh. It was an increase. It was abnormal. What are you talking about? So it must be plumber's disease then. Called it. So there's our low TSH, our yeah. high FT4, our high FT3. And there's the ab Oh, sorry. I thought abnormal meant like anything, but there you go. Plumber's disease. Bam! I'm you sorry you have officials. plumber's disease. You better take that off because plumbers don't wear ties. Ronin, contact the orthopedics department. We need to do you know how much of a roller coaster I just had to do because of that joke? You better take that off. Oh, because plumbers don't wear ties. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's see. That's why I, I, I was I was showing the the, the thing oh, here. Oh, okay, that, okay. That, 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 that is that a, a tie? Is that a tie or is that part of her shirt? I, I believe that's a tie. All that's left is to so you're safe. You're safe. Yeah. D it, yes. Have something that's too serious. Yeah. So this is a survivable thing. You don't. You don't have to live with your thyroid. It just helps out. But when it's not working properly, and unfortunately, so you just have to get rid of it. It's just a simple orthopedic procedure. And, and I'll be completely cured. You'll never sing again. Huh? The thing is, you'll sound like Lou Reed yeah, when you're done. Of course. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are we about to be, be scolded? Is that what I'm seeing on the panel the, to the left? I don't know. It's I'm I'm feeling that. I think I think Cuddy is about to come in. <laughs> what did you do to my MRI machine? <laughs> you again? What do you want now? My how rude! <laughs> I am the chief after all. It's my yeah. Job they to saw watch House and it's like yep. Yeah, let's make a game about that. I'm all fine right, with it. They looked at the Guilt. Point. They looked at House what MD. And they thought, clearly we're doing the wrong thing. I think the worst civilized. part is the House MD game on the DS fucking sucks, dude. Well, we got this at least. Josh's I know, we do have this. This is great. Well. I see. My son is safe. Yay. Yeah. Not going to go see him? Nah, fuck my kid. <laughs> it's terrible. Why I hate him. Need another doctor? It looks like the protagonist is Shin Megami Tensei 4. I know, yeah, it's great. Yeah. What else is on? See, we're just living in one big Atlas verse, yeah. and they cut. And I think uh, what was his name? Vincent from Catherine looks like he'd be related to these guys. Me to go to a medical. <laughs> it's his cousin. It's a good one. With an <laughs> what a connection! What a connection! So that means they've had to deal Japan. with multiple world-ending situations via gods in this entire universe, while mm. the doctors are just like, <laughs> where else but Japan? Uh, another another <laughs> demon attack. Well, that's weird. Uh, you know. <laughs> I wanted to make it snow. Unfortunately, I don't have time for pointless things. If conferences saved lives, I'd be the first one in line. Oh, jerk. By the way, can you take this to Hank? What? Surgery instructions? 
Gabe, I'm the chief, not your personal carrier pigeon. Fly away, little birdie. You said it's your duty to watch over the ward. Ugh, fine then. <laughs> I'm a charmer. <laughs> hmm. Cute kid, by the way. I'm glad he's okay. I have no son. I just love ripping papers. I didn't know they did surgery on bastards. Well, oh, that's too mean. Blazing Darkness is next for him, but now we're going to get to our final doctor, who is our first returning face. Yay! Naomi Kimishima. Well, yes, this certainly is an unexpected reunion. Can't wait to meet up with Derek Styles as a sub character. I think he's I think he's not in this one. God damn it. Because, you know, Derek Styles is, you know, the DS, so he's got his own game on the DS, but Naomi Weaver, or Kimishima, I suppose, she gets to have her own games on the Wii. Weaver. Ah, come in. You know how we mentioned in the past couple way? games we just love character design? Ah, mm -hmm. good morning, Naomi. It, seems it hasn't FBI stopped. Needs your expertise. <laughs> characters look great. I'd like Sir, to you got a little bit of a... Got a little white chocolate on your lips there, just... Yeah, just... Excuse me, madam. Not a police officer. The tie is doing a lot of heavy Talk lifting about. there. I can't just turn the government. Down. Is that a tie or a long? Uh... Fine. <laughs> is, is, is that just a ribbon for winning first place at the fair? Sorry, I've, I'm oh, wearing my convenience me. tie. Here's our liaison from the FBI. Uh, you should meet him. <laughs> <laughs> Special Investigator Naval. Pleasure to meet you, Doctor. Yeah, <laughs> belly button. Yes. Hi, Special Investigator nice Eyeball. You. Nice to meet you, too. What are you doing? You an FBI agent? This must be a joke. Did you laugh? <sighs> Please keep your voice down. It's been a while, hasn't it? I didn't have the luxury of witness protection. <laughs> Hi, Yuri. I know that's not Derek Styles, but that is definitely Yuri Lowenthal. What's up, man? I have nothing to Holy do shit, Yosuke did graduate high school. Oh, wow! Holy crap! The Atlas of Earth! Don't you ever talk about my past again. Whatever you say, ma'am. Good. Good. Good! Fine! Awesome! Be that way! We Whoa. love it! W where are you going? Somewhere where you scene. aren't. Send the address to my GPS. Oh, right, isn't she... Oh. I'll have them bring the This car is an investigation yeah, the, time? Yeah, so uh, we're not really doing much Tell doctoring here. Like, time. maybe we're gonna, maybe from a doctor's perspective, uh, but uh, um, Naomi Kimishima's field of expertise nice is there, forensics. Be a good boy and stay. Yes, ma'am. Hey, do you, do you hear that? I said forensics, but do you also hear that? That's the sound of uh, me not complaining. Forensics. I, I am a uh, big lover of forensic science. To the Batmobile! <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 to the Forensic da, Mobile! Da, 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 da. Time for the locked room mystery! Here we go. Oh, I love these kinds of mysteries. Let's go! Locked room mystery. The locked room is flatlining! There's blood on that dumpster. I don't like that very much. Uh, we've received word about you. Miss Kimishima, is it? Good. This will make things easier. Where's the victim? He's over here. Uh, this way, please. Okay, let me see. Oh! Have you guys ever seen uh, Seven? James Taylor, 30-year-old male. Neighbor called in the fire. The fireman found him. The knife in his hand Pretty small wounds. fire. Probably suicide. Hmm. What's this? Oh, What's that's this? What's this? There's something suicide. on the floor. What's, What's this? this? What's this? There, there's whiskey on the floor. Hmm. What's this? What's this? It seems he's cut its wrists. Uh, his knife is in his hand. Kimishima? There's no hesitation marks. What's this? What's this? What's this? A cell phone in my hand. What's this? What's this? Oh, it's an <laughs> evil call. There's dark energy in my hand. 
I want to call you about your car's extended warranty. Not again. <laughs> Wii remote is getting extra use here. Also, she can call the spirits of the dead. Well, more like they called me, and I heard his they call last. Her, yeah. I, I heard his last. Uh, his last cry. So, are we Oberdinning um, this crime scene here? Are you feeling sort of? Right? I wouldn't be surprised this if she, my... uh, you know, took on the monocle for the for the. You know. Are we Maya Faying this thing too? Could be. Could be. I don't know. Oh my so god, so many great games CIFM coming together I'll for examine. one great adventure. I want all that I don't think sold well, unfortunately. And we haven't seen Trauma Team or Trauma Center in a long time. It's I'll be at the lab. Not right. Great chapter. I'm glad we got to see the spirit call. Well, she does work at the forensic medicine laboratory. See, you, forensic medicine, that's a real thing. A lot of cases for the FBI. Hey, Joe, are you expositioning me? <laughs> that's pretty weird. That's right. Well, you're a guy who needs ex Between expositioning. Thanks. You know, you, know, you Come on. taking care of your mother for 13 time. years now, ever since she fell ill and your father left you. Uh -oh. Your brother tries to help, but, well, you know, he's not exactly taking care of himself very well either, and you're trying to make ends meet, aren't you? I'm glad you're that's telling me end. my life story. <laughs> Man found dead in his apartment. Firefighters found the body. The door was locked. All right. Right. The victim's 30-year-old Dennis Taylor. At 3:30 p.m., someone in the same building reported a fire. The firefighters found the body in bed 20 minutes later. Had a knife in one hand. So it wasn't long. On his wrist. The door was closed and chained. It's being ruled suicide. Hmm. Is that your personal opinion or your FBI training? So a personal FBI training, ma'am. The most reasonable fitting explanation. I would, I would kind of like it if Mr. Detective here was a bit submissive because he doesn't know what to say around pretty lady. Doctor, what do you mean by that? Let's begin. Show me how this life's flame was snuffed out. <laughs> and overly dramatic. Oh, it's an autopsy. That goes into forensics. That's fine. I mean, of course. See, we had a first responder that saved a life, and it's now we have a person one. looking over a corpse. Let's look at the corpse. It's basically the second half of the investigation part. Let's look at the corpse. Da -da 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 -da. Let's look at the corpse. Uh, com computer. Yes. A computer! Okay. I like it. I can dig it. We have a computer. Now let's see computer. Ooh. All right. It <laughs> so put a hint on your me right so, now. So this is really funny, because that's not our me. Is that hers? Oh no, that's that's his. That's his. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, that's All right, lovely. let's let's give it a try. All right, deceased voice. We got stop you. No. No. I found that's his hand. Blood on the blade. I should get analyzed and then. Victim is the no dip, 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 okay, dip, so dip, figure dip. out what happened that day. Cool. Sounds simple enough. Uh, recorder. Okay, that'll that'll come later. Uh, little guy. I just did that. Oh, Wait. you need to actually pick up and put to... it on him. Oh. A B. Uh, okay, look at this. Okay, look at this. <laughs> Can you- Look at this. <laughs> oh, there's nothing else. Okay, okay. It was just the knife, just the knife. Look at the dead body, Navel. Look at it, isn't it cool? Look at this corpse. That was my brother. Look at this corpse. Okay, so- uh, Evidence room. Usual stuff. That's not the most jovial thing to, to whisper when you're uh, going to do an autopsy here. Check the effects, what we got? All right. Yeah, we get to take a look at the clothing he was wearing. That's a clue. There you go. Uh, oh, I was just looking at the, the bloody wrist, but is there nothing on the pants that you can find? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. What we do have here is That's this. the obvious thing, yeah. Not the button, you dumbass! That. Oh, really? So, okay, she didn't see that as... Well, apparently she doesn't... Interesting. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, is there anything on the back? Whoa, what did that say? The deceased was wearing a white shirt. There's blood stains on the left sleeve. Oh, okay. Uh, anything on the collar, maybe? Uh, front, back, all around, nothing? Uh, is his wallet still in his pocket? Mm, can't tell. Hmm. Okay. Penis looking fine. Okay. Well, let's just look at the corpse, then. Doesn't look like there's anything on the... On yeah, the I think, uh, clothing. I think we got it all, then, because I don't see anything on the pants here. Yeah, I don't see anything different besides death. It doesn't seem to really pay too much mind to the blood stain, so... Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's see if we can find some clues on here. Alright, as for you... You're very blue. You might want to get that checked. Broken finger. Broken finger. Finger is broken! Uh... It's oh, quizzes! Awesome. This is caused by a fracture? Yes. I thought she was scanning in a QR code. <laughs> <laughs> we can't say what's wrong with it for sure until it's sent in okay. for analysis. Okay, so somebody broke his finger if this is forced uh, entry. Oh. That. Is what is that? Is that a... Looks like a puncture of some sort. Yeah, she called it a bruise, but... A flower-shaped okay. bruise. There's a slashing wound. Okay. This wound on the wrist is believed to be the cause of death. Even believed. though this looks like a self-inflicted wound made with a sharp knife. See, CSI taught me this. There's something. A suicide made to look like a homicide. Yes. When you're looking for slashing marks. The victim. Oh, the pawn is about wound. that. Uh, uh, no signs of pain reaction. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's wrong. So there wasn't really much bleeding, was there? It's all, it's oh, all that, over the. That, all there over was the bleeding. Sleeve. There was bleeding. Never mind. Never mind. No uh, signs of healing. So it's probably either these two. Yeah. Uh, slash wound on the left wrist of the victim did uh, in this way. The wound is odd in that. No signs of pain reaction. Yeah, let's try that. Because that's what CSI taught me. There was a slash that just cleanly just, you know, left to right, whoop, no hesitation marks. Hmm, that's Which right. means it was, might if have you, been done by someone else. If you yourself are doing it, it's it's dirty, it tears, you're just, yeah, there's, uh, but if someone else is doing it, no problem. Nope, no problem. No matter who okay. it is, pain is an immediate response to a cut. Exactly. No one should okay. Be able to make a I mean, you're cutting nerves and shit like that, too, and doing it on your own self. No way you can do it just that cleanly. Do you know that we have the power to bite through our own finger. It's but just our brain, our brain tells yeah. us, don't do that. Hey, let me see your finger. No. La, 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 la. And the only reason I know that is because it takes about the same amount of force to bite through a carrot that it does to uh, bite through a finger. Uh, is there anything on the feet? Doesn't appear no to be. No broken toes, no burns, no nothing like that. Okay. He's a Ken doll. Yeah, there Take is nothing there to grab attention. Take that as you what, will. What about eyes? Aha! That wasn't just some weird discoloration. There's red spots in the eyeballs. He's staring right at me. What do you see? Broken blood vessels. Yes, there appear to be spots of hemorrhaging in the eyeballs. Hell yeah. This isn't yeah. a common condition. Perhaps I should ask little guy about it. Do you mean me, ma'am? <laughs> I think we're done here. You choose me! Give me evidence, I'll take a look at it! To end the investigation, I look at the empty space behind him. Empty space. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Yeah, I, I want to take a look at those more closely. Back to the office. Back to the lab again. Oh, ah, man. It seems we've got something new here. What? What you got? It's a knife. See, the knife itself is a cheap common brand. Not enough to cut. It will be difficult to locate where the knife came from. Oh. The blood left on the blade matches the deceased. Only his fingerprints were found on the handle as well. I see. Mm, that didn't help. At least one thing is clear now. No, that it is... didn't help. Uh, the knife cut Dennis. This is his favorite knife. <laughs> uh, yes, that is true. That's all we can. That's all we know. As philosophy. 
Yeah. Upgrade. Deadly wow. knife. Are we going to have to These max knives, out even then we every piece of evidence in order to, to solve to this? Because we're going to have to combine evidence to, to strengthen them. Nice. To find the ties between them. Fuse the car. Oh, yep, there's the fusions. All right, correct combination will result in a fusion. So, so we could probably do... We could probably say the wrist and the hmm. knife make the... The shape of the knife blade corresponds with the wound found on the wrist. This means that... <gasps> the knife was used, used on, on his, his wrist! wrist. <laughs> How about oh my that? God. This appears to be an open and shut case. Then again, Does it? this all seems a little too convenient for me. Thank uh, you. I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, should we... I don't see anything else that can be combined. Yeah, we can. There's no mistake. This finger is fractured. Can you send me the details? We'll get an x-ray performed as soon as possible. Oh, and I have one more piece of good Just cut the hand off and send it to little guy, and he'll do a complete scan of it. Account. Great, Ooh. that will be useful. Who's the witness? Uh, it's the deceased's neighbor. We've asked her some questions about the day of the incident. Hmm, perfect timing. Maybe it we'll may be just be the cop shows that I've watched. Neighbor did it. Calling it right now. Probably. Guy was probably oh, playing his music a bit too loud. Please neighbor came over and room. cut him up good. Uh, let's, uh, should we give him the eyes as well? Just give him everything? Yeah, let's just give him all the, the all the info we got yeah. for right now. It's a condition called petechia, caused by increased blood pressure and spasms in the blood vessels. It's commonly hmm. found as a sign of death by asphyxiation. <gasps> oh! Wait a Oh, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> I love I him. like you already, hey! Oh, dude! You died of a broken finger! Oh, oh god! <laughs> Ow, my finger! thought to be hemorrhaging from a slashed wrist. If the cause of death is asphyxiation, it's possible that we are dealing with a homicide. That's a murder! Hey. Yes! Hey. Signs of asphyxiation, okay. Uh, how about the bruise? What do, you think of, what do you think of the bruise here? What's this? Nope, nothing for the bruise. Uh, signs of nothing for the signs of asphyxiation. Yeah. Nothing for the slashing nice. knife. Nope. Okay. I think that's, that's it. I think that's it. Oh, uh. We can use the recorder now, but I think I'm gonna put. I'm gonna stop things here for now. More investigation. I can't More wait. More investigation. Yes. Next time on Trauma Team, we're gonna figure out who done it and maybe why. See you then. Modus operandi, modus operandi, modus operandi, modus, modus, modus operandi, modus operandi, modus operandi, modus operandi.